I'm Emma Tversky for The Developer Chef. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. To start off, this week we announced Glance, a new framework built on top of Jetpack Compose designed to make it easier to build for surfaces outside your app on Android. The alpha version introduces the main APIs to build Wear tiles, including an initial set of Glance composables and more. Alpha releases are all about feedback, so make sure to check out the full announcement and submit your feedback to influence the future of wearables. Speaking of Android, we recently introduced Baseline Profiles, a tool to help developers improve app startup time by up to 40%. Baseline Profiles are a new mechanism to provide profiles for users' most critical user journeys and reduce the amount of just time compilation necessary. This is especially impactful for projects using Jetpack Compose and other Android X libraries, which have seen animation frame times reduced by more than one millisecond. Android isn't the only one with personalized profiles. Here's a new guide on Firebase's latest personalization feature. Remote Config Personalization, first introduced at Firebase Summit 2021, harnesses the power of machine learning to automatically find the optimal user experience for each user to produce the best outcomes. Learn how to set up personalization in your app in Firebase's latest developer blog post. With increased personalization comes increased privacy. On Data Privacy Day, we introduced Pipeline DP, a product that allows any Python developer to process data with differential privacy. Our open source foundational differential privacy library is available in C++, Java, Go, and now Python, expanding access to nearly half of the developers worldwide. We encourage developers around the world to take this opportunity to experiment with differential privacy use cases, which can provide useful insights and services without revealing any information about individuals. This just in. Over the next few weeks, Chrome 99 will ship with the HTML input element show picker method, a canonical way to show a browser picker not only for dates, but also time, color, and files. This community-driven spec will also work for input elements with suggestions powered by DataList or Autocomplete. Learn more about how to implement Show Picker on the Chrome blog. Speaking of my Google Calendar, before we get too far into the new year, it's worth celebrating our accomplishments. In 2021, Workspace introduced its recommended app section, the Card Builder UI application, chat slash commands, and dialogues, and more. We especially want to recognize the members of Google Cloud Innovators, a new program in 2021 designed for developers and technical practitioners using Google Cloud. Thank you so much for being a part of the developer community. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Emma Tversky for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Does it matter if my cat is screaming in the background of that? Um, you know...